All right, guys, so welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow Winter Edition. You guys are going, why'd you dress like that? Well, man, you know what? In California, it's like 52 degrees, so it is official, man. Hell has frozen over. Now, for us, anytime it really falls below 60 degrees, everybody panics and goes, oh my God, the world is coming to an end. And for us, believe me, it's freezing cold. Now, I know there's some people out there who live in colder places. I know there's a New Yorker who's going, you know what? On my block, when it was 30 degrees outside, we would play baseball in our underwear. You're just a wussy. And you'll be, all right, that's cool, that's cool. But for us, it's cold. Now, Winter Edition features a brand new product that's come out from the people over at Corsair. And it's pretty cool because it's done in combination with the people at MSI. So pretty much picture MSI top-end hardware, Killer cooling by the people over at Corsair. So it's a mixture and blend of the two. And that is their brand new Hydro FX card. So it's a Hydro GFX. This is a GTX 980 card, 980 Ti that is. Top of the line card that you can get right now from the Nvidia for the desktop. So uh, let's go in, check out what's in the box, see how it performs, and at the end of the day say, hey, do I wanna spend money and get myself a killer water-cooled GTX 980 Ti? Maybe. So like usual, any unboxing obviously is going to include, voila, la box. So here's the front of the box. On the side, you can see some of the nomenclature and numbers of this great little card. Here's the back, where they talk about all the cooling functions and all that stuff. Now you guys all know what great cooling solutions. A lot of people have them out there. This is Corsair's version. Um, I'm obviously going to assume right off the bat that it's going to work very well since they've taken all the time to go in and invest in this type of product when it's not their usual run in the mill type thing. So I think it's going to work out really well. We're gonna flip it around one more time to here. That's pretty much everything that there is for looking at the box. We begin to unbox it. We're gonna pop the cap here, open the top up. There'll be obviously be a box inside of a box, which is the box section. I'll go ahead and just pull that thing out here. It's much easier just to simply take the box for me and gently just make a little shake. So now let's go ahead and pop the hood, see what's underneath the hood, and we'll spin that around. And you guys can see that thing is actually probably better this way. So here's everything inside of the box and what it looks like when you guys get it. So when you buy the card and it comes in the mail, it's going to look like this. We'll slowly take the stuff out. So a few things inside of here that are the bundled contents. We'll take a look at the bundled contents real quick right here on top. We've got some screws, Molex 6 to 8 pin cable, a nice little plastic bag that has the MSI stuff. Like I said, the card itself is probably manufactured at MSI level using their cooler or vice versa. It could be lots of different things, but there's that. Then we have the quick user's guide. Looks like we have, yep, the CD, the drivers, Got a little thing here saying, hey, this is the Hydro GFX from Corsair. So good stuff there. It's not a lot of bundled content, but what do you really need? So beyond that, let's pull this out right here. Let me just set the box off to the side. Boom. All right, let's get this in the range. So check this thing out. So visually speaking, you guys can see right off the bat, the card looks really killer. It's like gunmetal gray, black and silver. Looks like something you'd see in a very high-end car or high-end product. You see the MSI name here. Of course, their logo, MSI, once again on the single fan. Really nice looking, simple yet elegant. Once again on the bottom, you guys can see the MSI logo on a PCIe slot. And as we look at the rear IO, you can see that there are three display ports, an HDMI port, and a DVI port. On the back of the card, one thing nice to see, a nice, solid, protective plate. You guys all know I love that. For those of you who like the cringe, get ready to cringe. It's cringe time. Tap in the back of that card. And as we spin the card around, you guys can clearly see it's the overclock series. It says it right there. And obviously a card of this caliber is going to come overclocked out of the box. The big thing about the liquid cooling on this card is that it's gonna help that boost. The cooler the card runs, the better the boost. Also, when we're taking a look at the back panel. You guys can see that there are two SLI fingers up there on top. All you gotta do is remove the tab and you can access those. You guys already know the specs of a GTX 980 Ti. The only thing different about this one is it's water-cooled and it's a little bit overclocked. Now, as far as the cooling reservoir goes, you can see there are two cables that are protruding out of the side of the card. They go to this radiator right here. This will be very simple to install in any system. Pretty much, you know, if you have a fan in the back of your case, you're gonna be able to mount this there very, very simply, which makes these closed-in systems just absolutely awesome. If you don't wanna mess with stuff and you want something very simple, hey, this is the awesome way to go. And once again on the top, you can see there's a single 8-pin and a single 6-pin power connector. 
Once again, the 980 Ti nomenclature. And once again, the MSI name again. And I think MSI is her name all over this card. I think so. So, anyways, this is the card. That's all the stuff. I know it's kind of spec light by now. I figured you guys would all know by now, you know, what this card is, what it has, how many CUDA cores, you know, that has six gigabytes, GDDR5. I think you guys all know these things. If not, you can yell at me, but I mean, this card's been out for quite a while. The big difference about this card is that it comes out of the box, obviously overclocked, and it has this totally cool, you know, system of water cooling. So there are a few other people out in the market that have water cooled cards and they're always a little bit pricey due to the fact that these cards are obviously a little bit of risk factor because they're water cooled. So I mean, this gives the chance, you know, even if Murphy's Law, if something can go wrong possible, it gives that. So these are high end cards, very high end, very pricey. So if I want to spec light, I apologize, but I figure really honestly, you guys should know this card by now. It's been out there for quite a while. So let's jump into the test system. By the way, I know you guys are going to say, hey, well, why are you testing this card this way? It's been the same test system we've had for years, so obviously we know some stuff on there needs to be changed. We're updating it. It's the holiday time. I didn't want to let these guys down, at least not show their card, because it's a really cool card. If you're looking for actually a really high-end, awesome gift, uh, this is something to consider. This card runs so much cooler, you'll see, than the other cards. Now, the Zotec card, their, 9T, their 980 Ti Amp Extreme card, that card so far has been like just the fastest, absolute fastest card. This card's second but it runs so much cooler and that gives you headroom for more overclocking. So let's jump in real quick and let's just check out those test scores and then let's bounce and enjoy our holiday season. Okay, so check it out, folks. You guys all saw the scores. You guys all rock out to the benchmark song. Rock on. Now, you guys see that this card, although not the absolute fastest GTX 980 Ti that we've ever seen here, it is the second fastest, and it did run significantly cooler. So having that cooler factor means that the boots clock will have much more easy time boosting that clock up and doing your overclocking. So that's something very good about the card. It means that right now, as it is, it has headroom. Now, there is one caveat to this card because it costs $720, but like I said, any of the liquid cooled cards that are the GTX 980 Ti series are all very freaking pricey. It's top of the line card, water cooling, all that stuff combined makes, you know, moolah because these are the absolute best cards. They stay the best cooled. They're gonna last you longer because of that factor. In fact, if you just leave this card alone, which i be honest with you guys, I don't overclock all my cards. Only when you guys really want some, something overclocked. I just like to run my cards the way they are and just play my games and enjoy them. And pretty much 
that's when I do that, I'm not getting any screen tearing, I'm not getting any frame rate drops, I'm not having any issues with weird driver stuff, so that's just me personally. I know there are people out there who just love to overclock the shit out of them. If you're one of those people, well, this is definitely one of those cards you want to check out because it has plenty of room for overclocking. So if you're an overclocker and you want to get something you can push to the limit, take a look at this brand new Hydro GFX card from the people over at Corsair, obviously in conjunction with MSI. Like usual, the price of all this stuff and information will be down below that like button. Hope you guys like it. Sorry to make the video kind of short. It is the holiday season. I still want to bring you guys video, but I have family out and stuff. So I'm going to actually take a couple days out after this video, probably until Christmas. I'm only going to probably have maybe one more video, possibly two. One last thing before I bounce out of here. Every day, I'm giving stuff away on Twitter. Go look. And in fact, you guys complained and said, why don't you show a picture? So now I'm even showing a picture of everything I'm giving away every day on Twitter. And it's really easy. All you have to be done is be sub to Tekka tomorrow. Go follow me over on Twitter. Easy money. Every day, I'm picking a winner. So, and the Christmas Day big one, it's yet to come, baby. So happy holidays to all. We'll see you guys back here on Tekka tomorrow in the next few days, and then it's off to enjoy family, presents, good food, and unfortunately, I'll probably gain some freaking weight.